Hi everyone, my name is Adam Ryan and I'm a professional FIFA player for Lundy United and I'm here with professional darts player Bradley Brooks for the first ever Matchroom Mondays in association with Lundy United. Basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to play Brad at a game of FIFA 21. We're going to give him a 2-0 head start because I'm feeling generous and yeah, we'll just see what happens and have a chat with him about his career so far. Hi, I'm Bradley Brooks, I'm 21, I'm a professional darts player in the Iranian World Youth Champion. Have a look at Brad's team here. How are you feeling, Brad, with a 2-0 head start? Confident or what? Well, you've got team there in Bathy and Ronaldo, so no, and you're playing right backs at centre backs. So <laughs> no. If you're saying that, you clearly know how this game works, so that's made me a yeah. bit worried. And you're using a five back <laughs> formation. I do like the fact you've got uh, two Rangers players in there though. Rangers always sell sick every day. <laughs> stop stop trying to sweet talk me to not score too many goals. <laughs> trying. Right now. Since the game's starting and I'm 2-0 down, I'm going to hit you up with some stupid questions to try and distract you. So, how did it feel making your debut at the Ali Pali in the World Championships? Uh, it was good. Uh, obviously, when you first start playing darts, you dream of playing there. But obviously, with the restrictions and no crowds, it probably wasn't what I expected. But hopefully, yeah, when I hopefully I can qualify again and there'll be fans there, which will make it better. But yeah, it was a proud moment for myself to play at the Ali Pali. I guess you made made the best of what you could, I guess. It was different, because uh, obviously there's no fans. And, <laughs> there's no fans, but uh, yeah, I still enjoyed it. Uh, disappointed not to get the win, but obviously I was happy with the way I played, especially in the first two sets. Where I really started following your career, when I just liked how confident you were when you went in the first two sets and you were playing up to the camera and all that. A yeah, so I think that's one of the... Obviously, Dirk played well after going 2-0 down, but... I think that's one of the reasons why I lost as well, being a bit overconfident. But you learn, I'll learn from that. Yeah, you won't know that until you're in the situations. Is it? Oh! No, I think 3 0 would be a bit too much. I need it. Tell me at the minute. Which one's, FIFA, which one's the professional FIFA player? Oh, sure. Don't make us do an episode two of the darts, mate. <laughs> The way I'm playing at the minute, you'll probably beat me at both. I'm not beating you at FIFA here. 11 minutes in, I've not touched the ball. That's, me, that's what I'm doing, I'm 2 0 up, just keep the ball. I know you are, it's, it's blatantly <laughs> obvious, you Penalty, come on, give it, mate. No! I think I can give him a chance. No questions yet, Tosco. So, are you a fan of football in real life? Yeah, yeah, a uh, Blackburn fan. Uh, I used to go all the time before, obviously. I played darts and it was hard to obviously get, I used to have a season ticket, but getting there now was hard. So I go when I can and watch them, even when I'm away, I'll pay for it on my laptop and watch them. Basically the same as me then, on Christoph. Chris. Chris. Oh, no, no, no. Chris. Get in there. Oh, my God. Oh, what's he doing on the line? Carlos Alberto, come on. Been a poor start, but we're back in it now. That's the difference between good players and the professionals, they just take the chances. Out of it, that I'm panicked first time. They do call me Mr. Clinical. <laughs> well, well, they don't, to be fair, but where did you get your nickname from, Bam Bam? It was from, like, when I was younger, obviously. I'm not going to say I'm a good loser now, but it just came from that. Like, obviously, click, like Bam Bam, like, like, throwing stuff, and obviously when I lost, I wasn't really the best loser. I think it came from that, really. Bit of chai one. <laughs> that is why we, we kept the big man in. Oh, oh God. <laughs> He's fuming, He's fuming, bam bam fuming. I can't believe that. Yes. Well, There's I'm no finished, skill though. involved in that. <laughs> here to win, here to win. I couldn't do anything yeah. there. I've not even stood off much. I, think, I honestly oh, didn't I expect to that. win, but you've limited oh, me. I don't believe that. So for me, in my spare time, what I'm always doing usually is pretty much just playing darts, like practicing my darts, just for fun. Yeah. So I wonder what you do in your spare time, because obviously darts is your job, so you can't really have Yeah, I'm not one of the... Uh, biggest practices are obviously I have to practice to just keep my eye in and keep everything everything right uh, but I'm not one you can do hours and hours a day uh, like yeah, some man. days obviously if it's going well I'll do more than other days but sometimes it's not going well I'll just put them away until the day after I found it a lot harder through the lockdown and all the pandemic yeah. to practice because I like practicing with someone uh, yeah. I get bored Same. pretty easy but... penalty you got to give it rest oh my god he's last at his challenges Oh, come on. He's not going to win this either. He's not a chance. Fair, two each at half time, you're still in it. What are you thinking towards the second half? I mean, I feel a bit hard done by. Yeah, to be fair. One, get, one great screamer with, with Mbappe. See why you feel like that. See oh, I mean. come on, look at this. He's a professional. You're just keeping the ball, mate. I, um, I've told you, I don't need much. Give me a sniff and I'll score. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to score this off. Do you practice FIFA every day? Or? Yeah. At the start of the year, when the new game comes out, you're practicing yeah. pretty, pretty much for 
eight hours a day, sometimes longer. But at points like this now, because you've played the game that much, it's just a case of like a few hours a day. Like I need to yeah. just kind of practice effectively. So you know, like how like games. obviously the casual player like me looks forward to the new game coming out. Do you still look forward to it, even though you have to like put hours and hours into it to learn, like and understand what the meta is and stuff like that? I think that? I do it, but mainly because I probably. I'm just get frustrated at how bad the previous game was. You're always looking at the yeah. new one. What, what do you think the biggest there. problem is with this game this year then for you? It's, it's, a, it's a hard one. I think for me, in terms of competitive competitions, obviously it's not EA's fault at all, but because of COVID, we're all playing from home and everybody's got different internets and you can play against some from Israel or somewhere far away like that, for yeah. example. So the connection can be different every time. It's not like darts. Like I guess the darts equivalent would be like the temperature in the room and stuff like that. I need some help uh, getting some consistent consistency in my darts game because I'm having visits where like I'll hit the treble first dart every time and I'll be hitting like a yeah. five and stuff. Like that, and I don't know what I can change. Like I don't feel comfortable with my throw, so I think I need some. Yeah. To be those. fair, the main thing that I can, I can I always say to people when they ask these just to make sure your follow through is strong and straight. Yeah. Right? See, that's the thing. I, I know my follow through is okay, but I don't know if my elbow maybe is changing heights. Yeah, it could or be that. Yeah, it could be that. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'd say I'm inconsistent. Because, like, if you look at like someone like Van Gogh and or Peter, right, they follow through is the same constantly. Yeah. Where mine changes, like, sometimes I don't know if it's to do with laziness or something like that, but like, sometimes the release will be perfect, nice and strong. Next time, it'll just be like, like dead do the win off and I think that's one of the reasons why. Seventy one minutes. That, like, in, the guy you just subbed on the guy with like ninety nine pairs. Nearly halfway through the year, but I know it's been a soft start here. So like what are your goals for the remainder of this start season? Uh it's definitely to keep my tour card. Uh I've had a bit of a rough start so far this year. Uh but it's definitely to keep my card. Obviously for winning the world youth last year I'm in the Grand Slam. Obviously, if I can get into the world and stuff like that, it should be it is doable. But obviously, I should need to yeah. pick up the phone and start playing how I can play. And we... Oh, no. You uh, actually just... threw it off the ball there. I don't actually know what I was Oh, thinking. no. I just want my toy card back and then like, everything got stopped and I just found a bit of phone. And obviously, yeah. when, I came, when I came back, I was I started off all right and then the phone just went again. But how did you find obviously, it, obviously? Ended... Sorry to interrupt you, but how did you find uh, travelling during COVID? Because obviously you've been in Niederhaus in Germany the past last week for the for the Super Series or Pro Tour. So how did that feel yeah, like being abroad? It, it's hard, obviously, getting there was hard. Obviously, my manager helped a lot. Uh, there's a lot of forms you have to fill out, a lot of COVID tests. Uh, it was weird because obviously the airport was empty. Like when we went to the airport in Frankfurt on the way home, it was just literally the odd person and everyone from Dart. So it was like we had an airport to ourselves. Uh, but yeah, it's different. I miss the, uh, obviously I've been guessing because I take my family with me uh, and stuff, but obviously we're coming to the end now of, of the pandemic, so hopefully we'll be able to get in soon and come and watch. Hopefully I'd really, I've never been to see darts live. That's definitely, definitely on my bucket. It's good. Obviously I used to go a lot, but obviously now I play against them. I, I don't go and watch anymore. That must be I a good feeling. Match. You used to watch players and now you're literally on the Yeah, I used to go to the match play every year. I always said to, my mum that I'd never go to the world until I played in it. So that is that is that is one of the best things I've ever heard. Like that just screams like yeah, I, 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 I really get that. It was London as well in general. I said I wouldn't go the only way I'd want to go down to London is I'll play so in the it's world. Pretty, it's pretty much the opposite like, for me because I yeah. um, the world championship equivalent of FIFA, I've never played in it but I've been there for three years refereeing or doing other stuff around it. So I, yeah. I actually find that fascinating that you literally wouldn't put yourself in that environment until you made it. Yeah, obviously my mum wanted to take me a few times, my girlfriend wanted to go down, but I, I wouldn't go. I, just, I said I would not go down until I've played. I would only want to go down for the World Championship. And obviously I wanted to take my family with me when I went, yeah. but obviously due to oh, yeah. this year, we couldn't take anyone with me, which was a shame. Well, the game's finished now, free to me. How did you find that? I'm actually very surprised with your level, to be honest. I know I know, I just an early one and you didn't manage to get a goal, but. The stats show yourself to easily could add a few goals there. Yeah, he's a, obviously, like I said, you, you can tell you play it as professionally because you knew what you were doing in front of goal. Uh, I'm still a bit salty about the Mbappe thing. If, uh, if that was on weekend league, the power would have been out the window. Uh, but no, obviously, there's a reason why you're a pro at it and that, you just shows it there and you finish it. Yeah, but I'm happy I only conceded three. I'm only counting it as two conceded though, because that. <laughs> we're calling it a draw, or we're calling it a draw. Yeah, I'll, I'll call it a draw anyway. Yeah, I'm sure you can get your revenge with darts anytime you want. 
my setup's just out there, so feel free anytime you want a game to take out your yeah. frustration on the loss, just let me know. Yeah, we'll have to do that, definitely. Yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first ever Matchroom Mondays in association with London United. My name is Adam Ryan. If you want to find out more about me, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Adam Ryan FIFA. And thanks again to Brad for coming on as well. Yeah, thank you for having me.